Hello friends, it's Carla, your online doctor with today's Live in 5. Today is Monday, April 27th. It is 5 p.m. Okay, first thank you all for being patient with me last week, last Thursday and Friday and Saturday were the worst roller coaster with my dad. Saturday things started to turn around for the better and hopefully he's on that road to recovery again doing much better yesterday and today thank you all for your your thoughts your kind words your prayers it's working so i mentioned last week that i would be discussing about supplements and i wanted to start out with why you need to supplement okay so it's all well and good to know that you should supplement, but why? Hello, darling. Look what I'm wearing. Thank you. <laughs> Couldn't quite get the rest of it on, but you know what? I could do earrings, so thank you, my love. Anyway, um, so studies show that even in healthy athletes who eat nutritious diets, Every one they tested in this particular study showed one to three vitamins or mineral minerals were deficient. Now that's a pretty scary amount, okay? So when you're dealing with somebody who should be healthy and they are showing a pretty good number of deficiencies in nutritious components, it makes you wonder, what about the rest of us? You know, maybe you don't eat a very healthy diet. You can only imagine what your vitamin and mineral status must look like. Now, this study was done back in 2006. So, is it better now or is it worse? I would think it would be worse. And I'll tell you why. Number one, poor soil. Contaminants in our air and water, chemicals used on our soil, and increasing amounts of genetically modified foods um, increase, or I should say, <laughs> increase the lack of nutrition, decrease the quality of your soil is what I'm trying to say. Studies from 1950 through 1999 on 40 common fruits and vegetables in the U.S. showed declines in key nutrients. Okay, and I would be, I, it, I guess that in my opinion that would be continued and worsened as we got into 2000 and beyond. So, number two reason why you need to supplement is malabsorption, and this is a big one. Even if you are consuming proper nutrient amounts, your body may not actually be absorbing them, okay? This can be due to genetic factors, but more likely and most likely, it's due to lifestyle factors, including stress, exercise, hydration, and gut health, okay? These are huge, so you need to pamper your gut. You need to treat your gut well. You need to do the best you can to not be stressed, to get your proper sleep, to do all the things you can to increase the absorption ability of your gut, okay? So what are the most common nutrient deficiencies worldwide? Now, this may not always apply to the United States or South Florida per se, but worldwide, here's the list. Number one is iron. Um, it's a necessary component of hemoglobin in the blood and therefore critical for oxygen transport to your tissues. Iron deficiency is the number one nutrient deficiency and the number one cause of anemia in women and children. Okay, so making sure you get proper amounts of iron in your food is critical or supplement and you need to supplement iron is a tough one because a lot of people can't tolerate it it gives them all kinds of stomach upset or i shouldn't say stomach because it's intestinal really upset and that's really a tough one so you need to choose your iron wisely number two is vitamin e 10 years ago a whopping 86 percent of americans were deficient in vitamin e when they studied them Vitamin E is found in avocados, broccoli, and almonds, and is a powerful antioxidant and a, an immune system booster. So this is one you do not want to be deficient in. Number three is vitamin A. 
It's essential for skin, teeth, bones, and vision, and it helps maintain cellular membrane integrity. Okay, what does that mean? That means to keep your cells, everything on the inside of your cells inside and everything on the outside outside. I mean, that's throughout the body. So you definitely need vitamin A for more than just your vision. Um, beta carotene is the pre-vitamin for vitamin A and comes from fruits and vegetables. But in order for beta carotene to be converted to retinol, the absorbable form of vitamin A, you need your gut function intact. See the little theme going on here, right? Number four is vitamin D. We talked about vitamin D before. It gets a lot of press. It's linked to breast cancer risk. Sufficient levels of vitamin D in one study showed an 80% reduction in breast cancer in people who had adequate or good high levels of vitamin D. Okay, I supplement with a lot of vitamin D because I have a very strong family history of breast cancer and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to prevent it from happening in me. Okay, and of course my, my family. Unfortunately, due to modern work and lifestyle choices, most people and children these days spend most time indoors. So you're not getting your vitamin D through natural sources, through the sun. So we need to supplement, okay? Yes, it's great to get outdoors and you should get outdoors, but of course, when you go outdoors, everyone says cover yourself in sunscreen. So we've talked about that before. My trick on that one is leaving uh, my legs without sunscreen on them because they're less likely to burn or get any um, any problem with the sun, but I'm getting my vitamin D. Or after you've worn your sunscreen and done your stuff, I shower, go outside, stick my legs out into the sun for about 10 or 15 minutes and get you know some good sunshine to absorb it into my body. Number five on the list is magnesium. Studies show 65 to 70 percent of Americans are deficient in magnesium. Magnesium is responsible for aiding in many functions in the body, including nerve and muscle function, energy production, and absorption of other nutrients. And it also affects hormones and sleep. Okay, deficiency is linked to cognitive breakdown and heart disease. Okay, so magnesium is a big one. This is an easy one to supplement for like for people like me, Epsom salt bath, boom. Your body, your skin, you can absorb magnesium through the skin. So you really shouldn't be deficient in magnesium if you just take an occasional bath with Epsom salt. Okay, number six, vitamin C. Surprising that you could be deficient in vitamin C, but I guess if you eat the standard American diet, which is all processed and junk, you're not getting any at all. So vitamin C, ascorbic acid, is necessary for immune system health, absorption of iron, cardiovascular health. Um, it is a powerful antioxidant, which also helps in collagen formation and wound healing. Vitamin C deficiency in the United States occurs in one out of five men and one out of nine women, roughly about 13% of Americans. This is mind boggling to me that an American can be vitamin C deficient. I'm just saying. Okay, and lastly is vitamin B12. Okay, critical for proper nervous system and brain health. About 40% of adults have vitamin B12 levels below normal. Deficiency can lead to depression, mental disorders, um, lo loss of taste and smell, anemia, and much more. Okay, these are just this one, you know, the, the top, how many did I do? Seven. The top seven vitamins and minerals that are deficient because of either a lack of diet, poor soil where your food is growing, um, malabsorption and all of that. So I have my routine. I'm going to share with you guys over the next couple of days what I take what I like to use on a daily basis, some of the things I may throw in here or there. And knock wood, <laughs> all my levels have been really, really good. I eat organic, I eat a very healthy diet, mostly plant-based. So, you know, you say, oh, she could have a deficiency in this or that. Clearly, I'm doing the right thing. So, if you want to follow along in the next couple of days, I will share all that information with you. We'll continue talking about supplements. All right, tag a friend, let them join in and follow along with all this good information. Hopefully, you guys are finding some value. All right, 
On that note, hope you guys are having a great day, and we'll talk again soon. See you tomorrow for another Live in 5.